Francesco is to take off. They love books. Acabo de encender las luces. Me acaba de despertar un golpe de loco fuera de mi cuarto. Entonces yo quiero pedir a alguien que sepa de, de cosas paranormales, ¿no? Que si me puede ayudar me deje algún consejo en la caja de comentarios porque encima hoy me entero de que falleció una anciana en esta casa. O sea, yo me fui de mi anterior casa porque creía que era la casa y no, hay algo que me persigue y no sé si tendré un don o no, pero es una cosa de loco, señores. En la caja de comentarios, por favor, si me pueden dar algún consejo urgente de que pueda hacer, se los agradecería. Porque esto es de loco. Buenas noches. Reaching out on TikTok for someone who knows about paranormal things. He mentions that he found out that an old woman had passed away in his house. But he also mentions that he feels that something is following him as he experienced the same terrifying moments in his old house. Francesco manages to get a hold of the contact details of a priest he knew a long time ago and calls him for help. <laughs> Quiero hacerle una consulta, si no es molestia, eh, que me están sucediendo cosas en mi casa paranormales y llevo por lo menos eh, cuatro meses con esto. Entonces, a ver si usted me, pod me podría ayudar. Mm, yo lo conozco desde que era pequeñito, lo que no sé si se acuerda de mí, soy franco. Yo creo que sí. ¿Se acuerda cuando iba a la iglesia con mi madre y eso? Por favor, necesito su ayuda. Yo conozco de lo que era chico y no es la casa. No es la casa. Eres tú. Pero Padre José, eh, ¿qué es lo que tengo pegado a mí? Porque ya, si no es la casa, algo tengo que tener, ¿no? Francisco, eso lo tendrás que averiguar por ti mismo. Y te aseguro que no es nada fácil. Pero son cosas paranormales que mucha gente se cree que no existen, pero ahí están. Lo estás viviendo en tus propias carnes y te das que averiguarlo por ti mismo. Pero Padre José, usted no me puede ayudar, Padre José, por favor, y lleva una mano. Francisco, esas son cosas que son inevitables. Yo mismo lo he vivido y nuestro gobierno recibe ni voz de usted y tienes que conseguirlo y averiguarlo por ti mismo. Son cosas inevitables. Así que te deseo lo mejor. Espero que salgas de todo esto, que no es nada fácil. Vale, Padre José, pues nada. Muchas gracias por la ayuda, que ha sido ninguna. Vale, venga. Consulting with Father Jose about what is happening in his home, Father Jose leaves him with a terrifying conclusion. It is not the house that is haunted. The entity is following Francesco himself, who he has been for his entire life. Thankfully, the activity dies down for a few weeks until one night Francesco is awoken by terrifying noises coming from another part of his house. This time, too afraid to face it. Francesco leaves his phone recording, captures this. A horrific noise. It sounds like rapid breathing and moaning to be heard coming from somewhere in Francesco's house. The incident has left Francesco terrified, truly believes that whatever is haunting him is getting stronger. As never heard it make those sounds before. In this final clip, Francesco's instinctive feeling was right. Chicos, estoy escuchando ruido super fuerte. Y empezó a grabar. Son las 12 de la noche. Hey. How you doing, girl? How'd you sleep? Because... I've done nothing but sleep all day. 
And yet, for whatever reason, I am still exhausted. Yeah, another loud noise. Francesco goes to check. However, when he switches the light on, several loud knocks can be heard, and then a creepy pale face suddenly appears at the door. And Francesco, who sees it, leads the opposite way in fear. TikTok viewers were left frightened by these clips, with many believing that Francesco is being haunted by something evil. However, some argue that Francesco mm, all day. is for TikTok fame. But for whatever reason, I still feel like shit, and I'm still exhausted. The next creepy video comes from the Japanese ghost hunting channel Clip Store. The Clip Store team were contacted by a fan of their show, asking them to investigate a creepy case for them. The fan claims that they took a picture in some underground caves in the Fukuoka area of Japan, featuring something so creepy they were stunned. Rumour has it that these caves are pretty haunted with a woman in white appearing regularly in the underground. Yeah, the I went to caves. bed and in the picture snapped by like a little before midnight the and then store, didn't wake up until 11.15 and then ended up taking a nap that lasted four to five hours. The woman in white. Gachan, gachan. So I literally like got up for the first time all day at... Six something this afternoon. Now I'm gonna go hang out with uh, the guy that I didn't go on the date with. Like, you know, you know that story. Thank you. That's actually a really funny story about that picture. Me and my little sister were hanging out. But we're gonna go hang out, and his mom said that he could do my nails next weekend if I'm not busy. So thank God for her, just love her to death. But I mainly am going so I can hang out with him and his brothers and his mom because I love his mom. His dad, girl, I thought his dad was gay for the longest time, and then I met his wife. He still seems gay. <laughs> which makes his blood run cold. You too, girl. I look like crap today. Da -da -da -da. Where is my mascara? Got the eyebrow brusher 2000 over here. Okay. <laughs> It really is. It really is. Like, you think somebody's super freaking gay and then you meet, like, their significant other and it's a female? Like, you can still be gay and get married, have kids and whatever. And then, like, Years after, like, your kids are, like, almost fully grown up, you tell your wife you're gay, and then it's, like, this whole thing, and then you're just... Everybody's super confused. Make sure we get a little spot over here. I feel like my makeup is too bold, but I really could care less because this is literally how I go to school every day. However, I do have a ton of blush, like just resting on my finger. Weird. Ugh, my lips are so dry. <gasps> ah, there's blush <laughs> on my Louis Vuitton purse. Go away. Suddenly, a knock at the rear of the car draws their attention to the back. Another knock comes shortly afterwards, this time at the front of the vehicle. However, prior to this, eagle eyed viewers notice something chilling. Not me being like super hella close to the camera. <laughs> Reflection of the car side mirror looking in at the pair. But Ow. the second knock, Ow, that the hurt. looks back at 
Uh, and I flinched and got mascara on the side of my face. What the balls? I call that bull crab. Ghost hunters were searching for the exact location of the creepy lady in white seen in the fans' photo. Something sinister lurks behind them in the shadows. It's subtle, but if you look closely at the background, you can see movement in the caves. Almost as if something or someone is following them. And the ghost hunters are completely... Not me not knowing how to put mascara on. I love that for myself. You creeped out by this video. Many believing that the ghost hunters... I'm gonna have to, like, redo my entire fucking... I make up. It's because my hands are shaking so much, like I can't keep them like. Evidence of the ghost of the woman in white on Ugh. camera. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments uh, below. I keep poking myself in the eye. What the balls? TikTok user Cheryl Sweetie Two uploaded these next clips to her page last year. Cheryl says that for some time now they have been experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in and around their home. One evening, while Cheryl was sewing, her daughter sat on the floor behind her, noticed something moving in the closet. Hey guys, um, just wanted to jump on really quick because oh, she stopped sewing. And I said that something weird really happened and we've been experiencing a lot of strange things lately, just different noises and stuff. Um, don't mind my mannequins, I sew for a living, so. Can you tell mommy what, what you just said? Cheryl's daughter stares at the closet door in fear. Cheryl takes a look inside. The mannequin startles her. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. However, the mannequin then begins to wobble and then crashes to the floor mysteriously all by itself. TikTok viewers were creeped out by this clip, with many mentioning that perhaps the mannequin was Cheryl says that strange things had begun occurring before she brought the mannequins into the house. The user commented saying, where you get them mannequins from, I might want to throw them away. Cheryl then uploaded this video. It was taken a couple of months before she purchased the mannequins. It's giving you're an idiot, but it's okay. Oh, sorry. Um, I just realized all these messages that you sent. Ah, go back. Oh, girl. How'd that go? Because you've got me hooked now. I need to know, like, the details of this story. Um, and the noise in the background is, um, like, a ghost hunter video because I'm super into, like, shoes like that uh, for whatever random reason. I enjoy it. Like, honestly, I really do enjoy, like, ghost hunter stuff because I just find it so interesting. Like, it's dumb, but it's interesting at the same time. What is ghost with Opens the door, just stands there for a while, all 
visiting who both of these clips have left TikTok users creeped out. Many believing that something has been haunting Cheryl's home for some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The creeping and panicking was home is now possessed with them. What do you think is going on? Shows. This net. With dump. Who knows the rewards? You can earn free dominoes after every two orders. It's as easy as one. It's two, giving three. hella pink. That's, that's what it's giving. It's giving pink. I decided to partner with Hero to try and test their newest products. Hero's Mighty Pack for tired eyes and bright eyes and illuminating eye cream. These tired eyes patches help me puff and revive my under eyes. I love how big this eye patch is and how it covers your entire under eye section. Hero's under eye cream definitely gave my under eyes a nice finished illuminating tint. It makes me feel refreshed and just ready to take on the day. Just this next ghost video comes from the fact that the Mexican ghost hunting channel extinct file, where they visit an old abandoned and supposedly haunted Eat, I felt one go through the hole. At night. Many sightings of ghosts and paranormal events have been reported at the old haunted farm, and local residents say that the farm is so haunted that nobody dares to enter it. Kevin and Camera 2 start their paranormal investigation at the haunted farm, where they hear some very, very weird noises. However, a short while into their investigation, they decide to investigate the stable and capture this on camera. Girl, are you okay? Like, that is a major thing, dude. Oh! That's like really major, dude. I get that shock shot on so I can put my shade off on. So I can put a jacket on. So I can finish cleaning my room and so I can go. I was like, I feel like I'm tired of being home, but at the same time, I don't want to leave because I'm so tired. Which is weird because all I've done today is sleep. I'm using my heater as a footstand so I can get my sock and step. My leggings are covered in dog hair. No surprise there. Okay. Need a sweatshirt. Hi. I need some assistance. Sweatshirt one or a sweatshirt two? One or two. And I'm wearing like black on black right now. So I need a little bit of color, if you know what I mean. Oh, girl. Yeah, one, two. Is it two and then one, which one? Because I'm thinking the purple because I've never worn it, but at the same time, this one's got pockets. This one doesn't have a hood. One. Okay. One. I feel... I feel nervous. I feel nervous. I'm going to get the broom because I actually have to sleep in this thing. Ugh. I'm going to put it beside my face. Yeah. Did I get everything? 
Yep. Make a pipe is trash. Um, the time here for me is 7.52 p.m. I got a smushy cow. Okay, so you're about a, an hour behind. Okay, so where do you live? If you don't mind me asking, because it's like a very pertinent question. Something must be standing right by it. But when the ghost hunters shine their light to see what could have activated the sensor, no one can be seen. However, moments later, when the camera okay, so it's PM here for me too. Dark figure can be seen peeking its head out before it quickly ducks out of sight. The ghost hunters notice it. It is a fat, squishy cat. Hello! But it doesn't end there. The ghost hunters decide to split up and investigate the haunted farm alone. Who knows how to take that? Explores outside with I'm a very blonde a person. Device. I'm confused. Kevin chooses to conduct a ritual inside one Hi. of the farm. He places candles in the shape of a cross, blindfolds himself, and asks a series of questions. Oh. And then no, this the happens. Okay. I like the smack noise it makes. Ooh, I've never heard of it in case. I had like an eyeliner print. Um, 16, about to be 17. Why? I'm 16. I'm about to be 17. How are you? Okay. How old are you? Um, why um? That's suspicious. So you're 12? Te llamabas Victor? Like, I don't know why you're like scared to tell me your age. I mean, like, I get that it's a personal question, but like, not like I care. I've got all age of people on here. I've got people that range all the way up to in their 60s, and they're mostly women. Not exactly 12, or not exactly something else. Don't mind the ghost show in the back. Like Ghosty Chef. And it's fine. I could care less. I've got all... That's such a strange comment. Calm down, buddy boo. Um, but again, I really don't care about people's age. I've got people come on here all the time from ranging from, like, just watching my videos in general. I've got people older, like, a lot of them are mostly older than, like, 16, and then they, like, go all the way up into the 60s. So, I've, and most of them are women. So I'm just, like, women positivity. Go you. I mean, it's, like, the same thing with, like, the same month of, like, Women Appreciation Week or something like that, or month or whatever it is. So I really don't care how old you are. I mean, I had, um, I think a 13, I went live with a 12 or 13-year-old. Um, she was actually a, a comment on here a few minutes ago. Um, degree. Am I gay? No, I'm very straight. It's... Yeah, I, I could tell why it'd be hard for you. I mean, you have gone through a lot of shit recently. And for me personally, it's it's just going. It's been its own thing. It's sucked. But, you know, we just gotta use our women power and power through it. That's what, that's what my mom always says. Yeah, sure, go ahead. 
What you gotta tell me? There's a hair on my phone. Ew. There's a dog hair. Why is there a dog hair? Oh, the guy that's saying is Spanish, I believe. Okay. Um, I, I support everything except for Therians. And, like, that's no offense to them. It's just something I personally don't understand. Oh, that's cool. But, like, as I was saying, um, I have a lot of friends that are gay or bisexual. And I support them because I'm more of a... I don't, I don't know how to word it exactly. I mean, I don't care what you is. What is what? Ethereum or bi or gay? I think you're talking about Ethereum. And Ethereum, my friend, is a furry. That's what, like, their main name is, is furry. But people also call them Therians. Or at least I think that's how you pronounce it. It's just another word for a furry. I personally just don't support it due to the fact that um, I don't... I don't want anybody who is one to be mad at me for this. I just don't understand the purpose of it. And... Uh, I don't, I don't understand due to the fact that, um, you could just, like, I get if you want to identify as a guy or a girl, but how can you identify as an animal? Because, like, that's, I've also heard so many bad things said to people like that, and I'm just like, I personally just wouldn't put up with it. Just, I just feel like that's weird. As a result of this. The pair decide to end their paranormal investigation at the haunted farm, but as they're leaving, Kevin's camera begins to malfunction. He manages to switch it back on, then captured on camera. A dark, shadowy figure can be seen in one of the windows for a moment. I'm gonna moment sweep really quickly, quickly because I need to clean my room before it leaves. I mean, it's mostly Kevin clean. Kevin and Kevin rush over to check, but when they get to where the figure was just seen, there's no one there. Extinct files viewers were left creeped out by this scary footage they captured at this haunted farm. With many warning Kevin that whatever pulled him could have potentially attached itself to him and that he should seek help from God immediately. But what do you think? Did the extinct file ghost hunting team capture evidence of paranormal activity at this old haunted farm? You tell me. Ghost hunter Natalie Benz and her friend Theo venture out to an old abandoned care home located in the middle of nowhere. The building is dilapidated, falling apart, a bit creepy as hell, but that doesn't deter the pair one bit. For the first part of the video, Natalie and Theon explore the old building. Later on, they decide to perform a Ouija board in an attempt to contact any spirit that may reside in there. Then, shortly after, they decide to use a spirit box device somewhere or something. Say, Yep, I saw that coming from a mile away. <sighs> Why a Walmart bag? Um, I have the captions on, so I'm reading what it's saying. I think I broke that, didn't I? Ooh. Did I get it? I have no idea if I got that. Oh, I did. Got it. If you identify as a Walmart bag, that's kind of funny, in my opinion. Weird, but funny. There is a battery under my freaking light stand. It's a weird place for a battery to be, in my opinion. Um, something went wrong. Okay, it went wrong. I don't know. Wrong remote. Darn thing. Oh, no. Go back, go back, go back. Go back, you darn thing. Go back to YouTube, because the girl loves YouTube. I was about to say, I, like, say I, I wonder why I love YouTube, and then be like, well, you idiot, you've got a lot of going right now for YouTube, so I'd be pretty shocked if you didn't like YouTube. 
See, my thing is, is I like YouTube to a, d a decent extent because I haven't been posting a lot recently, which sucks in the long run. Eef. But I mean, it is what it is, so. I'm the kindest person. Oh. Honestly, I never thought that'd be something I'd hear from somebody. Because I can be a pain in the butt, too. Go down, please. Thank you. No, I don't want to watch ASMR right now. I want to watch ghost videos. I don't know why this is out like that. Stressed oh. out? Time to refresh your rhythm with Trident. <laughs> Try to go. The fresh chew to refresh your rhythm. He's going to kiss me. I know he's going to kiss me. I can see his eyes flutter from my hands to my lips and then, oh my, his tongue touches his... Let's pause there. God, yeah. God, God, stop it. Stop it. Are you serious? Romance on order. Proceed with passion. Urban explorers from the YouTube channel Urbex Castronautica visit the historic La Plata Cemetery in I can try, Argentina. but I would prefer if this darn thing would go away. The final resting place of many Where's the back figures. button? While wandering through the huge cemetery, I can't seem to find it. Involves, guys stumble upon Shirts, a that has been subtitles, manual, home options, return. Right, ah, I got it. Ha. Ah. Uh, what you need? Oh, yes, I am sweeping. Mm -hmm. Well, at the moment, I need a dustpan, which indicates that I have to go up and see my family to go get one. Yay. I will be back, hopefully with a dustpan and not crying. Dart, stay. Did you see it? Stay. No. I will be back. Well, neither did the guys who filmed it. You see, after posting this video to YouTube, their sharp-eyed viewers were freaked out when they noticed a creepy little pale hand holding back into an open coffin. Now, it happened so quick that it's hard to see without brightening the footage and analyzing it frame by frame. But when the footage is converted to a negative image, the spook is easier to see. Now, it's very unlikely that anyone could have crawled into that coffin to fake this. This crypt is very old and unstable, and it would be very dangerous for someone to just climb inside. So did this group of urban explorers accidentally capture proof of the paranormal? Well, as usual, you decide. You can watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Castronautica. Trapped. In this next video, a man is taking a short video of a car that he's planning to sell. The vehicle belonged to his sister, who tragically passed away right inside the car over a year and a half ago. After sending the footage to a potential buyer, he gets an alarming message saying he should really check the video closer. Hey man, here's, this, uh, here's my sister's car. Just wanted to make this video so you could have a look at it. She still runs good. Uh, she's a little dirty. She has a lot of miles on her. But I uh, can clean up nice. I have made it. <laughs> With the dustpan. There's some in the back. If you're interested, just uh, let me know what you think. Throughout the footage, the faint sound of a woman crying can be heard. The video was shared online by These Dark Adventures and quickly gained over 500,000 views. I have slept it. I'm just going to leave my room and dust in here due to the fact that I'm probably going to end up having to sleep tomorrow anyways. I'm going to leave my room and dust in here due to the fact that I'm probably going to end up having to sleep tomorrow anyways. I'm going to leave my sister who passed away inside the car. I don't mean to be a... And that her son is still trapped. Oh, thank you. I needed that. Today has been on weird day. I've done nothing but sleep, and honestly, I woke up feeling like total crap and like feeling like I looked like total crap. So honestly, that was very nice. Thank you. And no, it's it's not creepy. I mean, people giving compliments nowadays. Everybody thinks everybody's gay because of it. Give a girl a compliment. She thought she 
Like, okay, I'm not friends with this girl because we got over that. She knows that I'm not gay. Um, but I gave her a compliment in eighth grade in reading class one day. And I told her she had very full lips, which is a very nice compliment in my opinion. Cause I mean, I like, I personally think I have nice lips. Um, but I mean, I've seen a lot of girls that have flatter lips and I'll still give them compliments being like, I like your lips. And a lot of girls take it. But this girl and her friends took it in the wrong way and started calling me lippy for like a year. It's like the weirdest compliment too. Like lippy because I complimented her lips. And so they all thought I was gay. And then like me and her ended up becoming friends and I give her a ride home every single day now. So I find it, it's funny. So I don't think people should take compliments weirdly. So now that I have finished sweeping, I'm going to brush my teeth. Go check on my mental's cats because I kind of forgot to do that this week because she's been out of town. Oops. Um, but the good news is, is they, my mama will feed them like a butt ton. She'll give them like three full bowls, like the big bowls full of food and like a thing of water. So they probably will be okay. They're probably almost out of food now. So which works perfectly for me, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna go brush my teeth and then I'm gonna end the live. I'll be back. Fine, I won't end it. Open this door. And I'll just take your body. Okay, let's see. What all do I have in my little purse? Headphones, license, two dollars in cash. That's so random. Random dang dollar bills. Don't think I'm doing anything weird. I have four dollars in one. Why, why, why is this one ripped? It's like got a whole ass chunk missing. Why are y'all so crinkled? Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared. Four whole dollars in ones. Lip gloss, headphones, little abundance of cards. I got my credit card, got random little birthday gift card that I got from my cousin and license and then my blood card from when I gave blood. I'm O positive. Honestly, I did not think that I'd be O positive, but I'm honestly okay with it because it makes sense. Because, you know, my mom is also O positive, so it would make sense. I'm rich. Why in the, what is going on in this video? And then I got a quarter and a dime. Like, why do I have just random change? Like, I've got that, like, that everywhere. Put all my cards back. My little four dollars in cash. out to see what's going on. A glass of water sitting on top of the fireplace shifts and slowly moves as if it's being put by some invisible force. But things get even crazier as a smoke detector suddenly starts to beat before crashing violently to the floor. 
With that, Sandra has had enough and just gets out of there. But there's also something oh, thank you. creepy in this video. I don't know what you look like, but I bet you are absolutely gorgeous. So again, I Ew, ask, it's not. did you see it? Right before the door moves, a face in the picture right beside Sandra. Grab a scrunchie, even though it doesn't match my outfit, just in case I need to put my hair up. Alrighty. The door swings open. I think that's all Sandra I need to do. Experienced several I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Okay, I've got that. Fun. What else am I needing? Okay, so I don't think that I can bring you guys with me while I drive because that's really dangerous. But I'll take you guys over while I go and check on my memos cats. And then like I'll get in the car and then then I'll just spend the life there. Mom, I'm headed now. I'm going to go check on my mom's cats real quick. Okay. Um, well, I mean, it's 8.13 now, so maybe uh, 10.30 if that's okay with you. Okay, it's like 10.30 or 11. 11? Are you okay with that? Are you okay with that? Okay. Thank you. I know. Yeah, that's fine. I already invited him. He said he would come. Hey. Luna. Oh, crap. I left Luna and Princess out. Princess! Come on, Princess. Good girl. Bye, Mama. See you later. Love you. I get to stay out until 11. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. I mean, there is no school tomorrow, so. Got my stress ball cow. What? A little bit over the street. I'm not naughty. I'm just going because I've kind of been avoiding him recently. Not really avoiding, but I've got a lot of past trauma. And, you know, with past trauma, you know, I figured out he wanted to ask me to be his girlfriend. At least that's what I thought he was going to do. And so when that happened, I got nervous because I'm not good with labels like i didn't want things to change yet i thought things were going really well oh crap um but with past trauma and stuff um i wasn't ready for things to change and to me being girlfriend and so with that i ended up feeling like i had to rush my feelings because he was taking me out to eat first and i thought he, even though i did have the date with him i ended up feeling really bad and sick so i didn't go um but with that um i've kind of been distancing myself a little bit because um, I just, I don't know how I feel now, so I'm kind of trying to figure that out again. I mean, he's such a sweet guy. He's really cute, and he's so sweet, and he's so respectful. And he's, like, probably the only guy that my parents have ever liked me with, so. But with that, you know, just going through a bit of a stressful time, and, uh, with all my past trauma, I, now I'm going through another holiday without my two brothers, and my dad and my stepmom. So I'm having to go through another year worth of, um, oh God, no crying. I'm having to go through another year without um, half of my family. So it's just really hard in holiday time. So let me just feed my cats real quick, or my mammal's cats.
we my kneecaps are hurting they are burning Heavy. I think this should be good. Alrighty then. Whew. Um, no, they, they were not killed. Um, my biological father groomed me when I was 14 and put cameras in my camper and in my bathroom to watch me change. And I found one of the cameras and I turned him them in with my biological dad or with my stepdad and my biological mom. And so almost two and a half years later, he got off with nothing. He didn't go to jail or anything. Um... And I tried to talk to my stepmom and my mama and my papa and a few of their family friends, and they disowned me. So, it is what it is. I mean, I don't want to be around people who said they did love me or think that everything that happened is my fault. They also said that I was the one that put the camera up. They have proof of me putting the camera up, which is bullshit, because I my biological dad was my favorite person in the world. That was my dad. I was his baby girl. Like, the, I mean, everybody knew he was my favorite parent out of the four that I had. He was my favorite. I loved him so much. And they said that it was my fault, even though there was obvious proof of it. But it is what it is. I'm not staying around people that don't, don't give a shit about me, and I'm not staying around people that are assholes and think everything is my fault. Hi! So yeah, that's... Yes, I did. Um, just basically on what, like, going off of what they said, being like, well, we did love you and, you know, everything is your fault. You're just a liar. I'm going with the fact that they, because they said that they are having to protect my younger brothers from me because they don't want them to get hurt from me. It's like, girl, what in the hell am I going to do? I'm 5'3 and weigh 125. Push me the fuck over. And, like, I ain't even going to try anything, bro. I'm small. Why in the hell would I even want to hurt my family when I love them so much, but they hate me because they think everything is my fault? I agree with you. Get my big girl truck. Love my truck. Ugh. Yeah. Love my truck, but I'm too short for it. Ugh. Something I think is honestly just really funny about my truck is that it's an older truck or an older version. So it doesn't have like adjusting seats. So I can't like rise my seat or lower it. And I'm really short. So I can't see over the hood of my car. So I have to, uh, I, my mom, my biological mom got me a four inch adult booster seat so I get out of my truck and I use it every single day I'm like sitting on it right now this thing right here it's stuck you can't really see but I have to sit on it because I can't see however I've been on for almost an hour and I have to get going and I gotta drive and I'm not driving on the phone because that's scary but I hope you guys like this live uh subscribe if you're not already um have a good blessed day uh, love you guys. Uh, if I go live later, I guess y'all find out then. <laughs> Bye, guys.